I'm Steve Donahue, I'm the president of Delamo Construction. We're proud to be partners with Caltech. Uh, the relationship started about 10 or 15 years ago in some fairly modest projects. Uh, we became famous for repurposing buildings. We've been involved with the uh, Dabney Hall of Humanities, the Guggenheim Science Project, and, and this is really a high watermark for both us and Caltech. My name is John Onderdonk. I'm the manager for sustainability programs here at Caltech. Well, we're sitting in the classroom of the Lynn Robinson Laboratory. It's a lead platinum building. We're particularly proud of it because it's a renovation of a historic building, but it's also now will be the most energy efficient physical science laboratory in the nation. Most sustainable greenest building you have is a building that is already exists. All of the embodied energy from the original construction of this building is still here. I always felt that one of the biggest statements about sustainability of this project was the decision by Caltech to reuse this existing building. The option to reuse the building was actually a more expensive option, but it was a much more sustainable way to do it, which also brought in the challenges of the historic aspect of the building. How do we preserve that historic integrity of the building? while building a brand new modern lab inside. This building was, was built in the early 30s and was originally uh, the home of our astronomy and astrophysics department. And as part of that construction originally, they built a, a celiostat on the roof to track the, the sun and as well as a, a telescope for celestial viewing. We wanted to repurpose that and bring that celiostat back to life as in the form of daylighting uh, for the building sub-basements. A uh, unique aspect of this project was to be able to utilize this historic celiostat that was installed in this building to bring daylight into the building. And we did that by installing some fiber optic light fixtures which are in the sub-basement and basement of the building. Another example are the lights throughout the building. Um, all the light fixtures are original, but we've obviously changed out the electronics so that we can you know, use modern fluorescence and in some cases LEDs. Historic preservation uh, as it relates to LEED provides a few challenges. One of the things you want to do is to reuse as much of the structure as possible. We had to do things like uh, put new sprinkler systems in the building, but those were behind, in some cases, existing plaster ceilings that we couldn't remove. We had to put new electrical in the walls. We did a lot of different techniques to bring those systems in and leave the walls intact and not tear them out. We did things like refinish the cork floor here in the library in the, in the conference rooms, um, sand it like you would a, a wood floor, uh, which created some challenges because it's a lot softer and it gets damaged a lot easier, so you had to be really careful when you're doing that. Um, just restoring the exterior of the building and trying to clean all the precast. Um, you have to start with the least stringent cleaner, the most environmentally friendly cleaner, and then slowly ratchet it up until you got the right formula that could clean all the dirt um, and not damage the, the uh, old precast itself. Since we were dealing with an existing structure and we were repurposing some of the floors into high-tech laboratories, we had limited overhead space to deal with. So we used a laser, we scanned all the interior surfaces of the building, and use that scan as the base model for all of our 3D AutoCAD work and coordination. Ultimately, that resulted in a substantial amount of rerouting of the systems to make it fit. It's a priority for us at Caltech um, to be world class in facilities and operations. And so when we look to partner with contractors or other vendors, we look to individuals and organizations who are world class and doing things that are outside the box and sort of follow the, the Caltech uh, ethos, if you will. And I think Delamo Construction exemplified that. You know, they, they were a great partner in this, in this building and you know, made it happen for us. We feel like now that we've uh, accomplished a lead platinum uh, uh, science building that was historic, that was constrained by a, a number of uh, very challenging aspects, we can achieve any sustainable building in any environment based on the experience and the lessons that we've learned with this project. Mm -hmm.